What's going on you guys? This is Gemini G7. We're back for another product review. I know I've been doing a lot of product reviews lately, but I need them. So obviously, since I got them, I'm going to do a review for you guys. So if you guys ever needed them, this will actually help you out in, a, in the long run. Listen, wait. Okay guys, this is about, no, wait. This is about cell phone chargers and holders for your truck, personal car, or a semi-commercial truck, semi-trucks, uh, okay? And I use this thing daily, 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 daily. Now, <clears throat> before I get to the good stuff, this is one here is called Van Moss brand. This mount right here, every time you put your phone on to this bracket, this, this gray part right here, the arms close every time you put your phone on top and the back of the phone touches that and pushes like a little small button back there the arm close automatically and there's a side button on the side right here if you hit that button the arms open back out that way you can take your phone off so over time put the phone on off on off you know we're working especially for us for CDL drivers driving trucks for a living this thing has been used daily okay now this one here apparently this one here stops charging okay it stopped it stopped charging frequently okay so i took this thing out this one here is called skull i don't know how to pronounce that s-c-o-s-c-h-e scooch skull Sco Skull Scooch brand, okay, right here on the bottom right here. Anyhow, this mount is this mount right here, okay. Now this one will still do its charge, but the button here on the side, okay, to release the arm to open back up so you got your phone, it stops to mouth, it starts to malfunction. So I wanna wanna touch it, wanna let go of my phone so I, I can bring it into Let's say if I want to go, if I'm going to the shipper, is that I need that information to bring my phone with me to give them my BOL number or PO number, and this thing just stops the arm just stop working, and then later on the charging stops working on this damn thing. Okay, I went from this, and I bought two more of these, and it happened the same thing. I returned the other two to Amazon, and got the newest, uh, got the uh, got the new one, which is was new and then i did the same thing again i looked for a different another different different type of brand i went for this one and this is the one i was using it started doing the same thing so i want to go ahead and went go ahead and went to, to the storage room and grab this one back out and throw it out and use it in the meantime so all over this stuff here it's cool mechanism you put it here, the arm closed, the back plate right here is rubber. Every time you put your phone on, okay, every time you put your phone on, the arm closed. When you hit the button here on this side or this side, the arm opens and you can take the phone on. So literally it's charging the phone all the time, holding the phone while you drive your truck, repeatedly on and off, on and off, a daily thing. It thing beats it up, okay? So this thing here no longer works anymore. This one here is in my truck. This one here, same thing. Now it doesn't even want to charge. It so it shows charging, but it's not even charging. Like if I have my Google Maps and, and I have my GPS on, and throughout the whole time, throughout throughout from me bring my load from point A to point B, it don't even charge. It's actually the battery is dying, 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 and it gets so red. It says twenty percent low power. Uh, hit that button to go to its safe haven lower power usage or close it. So I had to take off the power from the from my iPad Air and plug it to the phone while it's on this damn thing charging, double is charging to keep up with my phone to be charged to keep up with the power to it. And it's just wasting my money, wasting my time. And this stuff here, I thought it was good, been reading good reviews on them. They're like crap, okay? They're like crap, okay? I'm, I'm done with them, okay? So, if those of you guys has been sub to my channel, those of you guys has been watching my videos, we recently bought a Subaru WRX, okay? I had found a good cell phone charger, okay, 
for our Subi, okay? That, su that charger has been on that car about seven and a half months now, and it's charging strong, okay? It does almost the exact same thing, almost like this in a way, without all this stupid bracket here, silicone, suction cups and all that stuff. But it, still, it does have an arm, but you manually close it, and then the back, in the very back, you hit the button, it releases the arm automatically on the fly. So you don't have to worry about the mechanics, uh, the electronic mechanic motor opening out, in, out, in, out. And every time we throw our phone on there, it charges all the time. And it keeps up the whole entire time. And not only that, you know, when you're driving a truck, you know, doing all this stuff right here, it's a pain in the butt. And you know, the, the truck rattles a lot. The other one has more of a round butt and you can fluctuate it to where you want it sideways or upward on a fly, okay? It's it's, it's like, it's snug, okay? I, I love about it. So, I went back to that website and where I bought that charger for our uh, Subaru WRX car charger for our phones while we're driving that car. And I just want to see if they have it for anything for my car and for my truck. What do you know? They have it, okay? So, I got this piece of junk here. I'm gonna throw it away. I have enough junk. Things don't work, broken, throw it away. I'm not gonna bother trying to get a new one and send the old one, so I have a new model. I've been doing that the fast three times. I'm tired of it. I don't have time to swim by the post office and jump it off all the time. So, let's dive down up close, open the box, and see what's inside, and I'll tell you more about the product, okay? And afterward that, we're gonna do installation on that as well, and show you how simple it is to do it, okay? Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Down, down to FaceTime. Oh, we're not that face down, down to close up review and going to box number one. I open it just to check to make sure it has everything and we are good. Okay, put that aside. So I have two sets here one for my car and one for my truck. Okay, I open it just to be sure that it fits on the truck and it does. Okay, this is for Frontliner Cascadia, as you can see, Frontliner Cascadia by Pro Clips. This is their mountain bracket. This is their other uh, IQ charger. And this is the, another molding bracket for that, okay? So, what we can do is set it all up. And, you know, this stuff here is really good stuff. I never had a plum since we have our Subaru. Never had a plum whatsoever. Now, the, the catch side of this product here that they don't sell as a set, you have to buy pieces individually and, and assemble them together to make it work so this is one set okay this is another piece i had to buy and this is another piece that i bought as well to make this work and i did the same thing for the subaru it worked out just fine we've been having this unit here we've been having this for what seven and a half months now and it's and it's going strong and she drives to work she drives like 40, 45 minutes to work to my house from from that work, from uh, from uh, from the work from my work to back to my house another four four minute drive, and that's almost daily. You know what I mean? And on the weekends I drive that car too. We go to her her parents' house and they live in Fort Bend, which is even further away, almost an hour drive. And we have my have my phone while I'm driving, and it's been keeping up ever since then. Never had a problem with this product here. That's why I'm highly recommend this product compared to these stupid junk right here you see on Amazon selling for a piece of shit. Okay. So, package number one, this right here. Now, they have three different types of mounting on your truck, okay? They have one that goes on your pillar, they got one on the dashboard, and they got another one somewhere, I forgot what it was. This one here goes next to my uh, gauges on my dashboard, okay? As you can see, this is the hook right here. On the bottom here, it has two uh, double-sided tape. Um, all you do is peel it and stick it on there, but before you stick it on there, you want to clean the surface first and then um, put it on there. That way it holds in a place. Okay, so it has these four dots right here holes. Back here is solid. It's connected one whole piece. So this thing doesn't move, doesn't rattle. So how do you connect all this stuff together? Okay, so the other piece is this right here. Okay, this piece here, you see these four brackets right here? Okay, these four brackets right here, 
goes as in so, like that. Okay? And you put the screws in. And then you gotta take these two screws out, okay, which I'm gonna do right now in a minute, and to put it on that. This piece right here has a USB to USB-C, okay? I don't know how long the wire is. I think it's maybe about a <sighs> seven feet long, 10 feet long, I'm guessing. Comes with a port, single USB port charger. But I have my other one. I use the anchor one. This is what they come provide with. So I'm just gonna put that aside. And this unit here. Okay. Look at that. That's nice. And then if your phone is large, pull this down. Oh, there's a button right here. Push this, pull it out. Pretty cool, huh? This is what you plug in. That way it uh, gives it wireless charging. So, as I was saying, these right here are, you can't push this in. Oh well, yeah, you can, but you hear it? Is motorized, okay? It's, it's electronic motorized. This wears out, okay? And you're gonna break it. This one is not motorized. So when you pull it apart, it don't, but you hit this button right here in the back. See the arms? They're spreading out. When I put my phone on, as in so, I just put it together like that, that's it. It holds it in place. If I wanna release my phone, I hit this button right here in the back, pull the phone off, that's it. Put it back on, close, squeeze it together, and it holds it in, in, in place. Look at that, look how sturdy that is. Look at that, hit the button back, pull the phone off, that's it. Every time I put the phone on, I expect it to charge. This right here is made out of um, rubber, well, more like a polymer and neon kind of deal, but this is a charger here. This reads the back of your iPhone and it'll charge. You throw it on, Squeeze together, that's it, okay? Put the button back, pull off, that's it. Now if your phone if your phone is short, then you can put your phone up here and adjust it right like that. But my phone's big, so I leave it all the way down to the bottom, stretch out, because my phone's big. So again, okay, throw it on, squeeze it, that's it. Simple, no motorized, nothing. The only purpose it does its job is to charge, okay? Moving on. Now, it also comes with these pieces right here as well. This is for to uh, put your sickness on the back of this unit here and you run the wire to it so they'll hold the wire in place. That's actually a nifty, nifty, nifty touch up, okay? So let me go ahead and assemble this real quick and we'll get to it. Here's the screws here. I already know how this works, so I don't need an instruction manual, but I'll show it to you guys anyways. Universal mount. No, oh, actually, this is this damn thing. No, that's junk. Uh... And I'll be surprised if they have for... I'll be surprised if this company makes for Peterbilt's, KW's. It already shows you, I already showed you it made for Frightliner. So if they have for Frontliner, they have for other trucks. They should. The instruction manual, I said how it works and how to mount it together. See? So this is really easy. So you hook that to the back of that plate, that plate, and then you hook up the this unit here to that. And it slides into this right here. Okay? Easy. Okay? Back here is nothing. Okay, pretty simple. So let me drive, let me grab a screwdriver real quick. Throw those in the trash. I don't need them anymore. Whoop, there goes my camera. Yeah, we adjust this. This uses a hex screw. Okay, so hex screw, hex screw, hex screw. Bear with me, guys. Bullseye. Okay.
And when I was telling you that this thing can spin around and it's snug, I will show you. See this back piece right here? Okay. And here is the other piece I was telling you about. See how like this round right here? You can adjust it. Really, really nifty. It's a really nifty tool. Nifty uh, option. Okay. See? So every time this square right here meets up with this square. So every time, let's say your phone like this, and you want to adjust it sideways, or you want to tilt it up, tilt it down. This is like a ball, see? It's like a ball. That's what I like about this, okay? Easy, real easy, okay? Now before I put all this back together, I gotta put this mount on this mount right here. So I wanna put it as in so. So you can put it down here, or you can put it up here. Obviously I wanna put it up here. So let me go ahead and put these screws on. Real quick. Oh, don't lose it. Okay. Let's put off of this screw. This is trash. What kind of screw are these? See one? Oh yeah. Actually, it kind of spring freely. Oh, this is better. Okay. So put the screw on top. Easy. Trying to do it as fast as I can. But I want to show you how I put it together. You see how simple and easy it is. Oh. How simple, how easy, how fast it is to assemble it together to get it going. I dropped that stupid screw. This one here is for my semi truck, for my business. So I use this thing daily, every day when I drive by a truck to go to work and go make my money. God dang it, I'm having butterfinger issues today. Drop the stuff. Come on now. Okay, so that's done. Plug this back in, as in so. Use this, as in so. Now this also, the screw here also adjusts your tension on the ball as well. Okay, so let's say you wanna move up, move down, left, right, Okay, awesome. You don't want to do it too tight. You do it too tight, then you won't be able to move that mount so much. I want it just a snug, just enough, because there's going to be a lot of vibration when I'm driving my truck. Now, this goes back on, as in so. I want of these screws use the same head as this one. I want to keep switching. Nope, I can't switch. Okay, so put this back before I lose it. I have to put my tool back, because if I lose it, then I'm screwed. Okay. Now this is the same product, same design on the Subaru that we put this on the car for our cell phone usage while we're driving. 
because holding your cell phone you know and 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 gps and all that stuff and especially when we use our headset while we're driving that's a must-have but to hold your phone while you're driving is a big mistake and i don't want to usually want to do that i'm usually all on my headset or i'm on the speaker phone but most of the time when i'm driving i use my gps a lot a lot lot Okay, done. See, easy. This part right here goes right here. Put it together, slide down, and it locks it in place. Hold on, yeah. Hope it didn't go all the way through. There we go, snug. Okay, hold on a second. Did I do it right? There it goes. Okay. You gotta do it to where you hear a strong click. Well, it's on there. Once you once you throw it in there and you push it down on this on this here mount, you hear a click. This thing here, it's on there pretty good now. I don't know if I can get it off. Let me see. Nope. Yeah, I can. Okay, see it? So, put it in so you hear a strong click. See it? Now, it's not going nowhere. See that? Now it's not going nowhere. Throw it on. Okay, squeeze it. That's it. See? Easy. Okay, release this. Hit this button back here. When you put your phone over it, you can take your middle finger, hit this button here. And the phone comes off. See? Obviously, the power plug goes down here in the bottom. And it hooks it to your cigarette lighter. This goes in the mount. This is for the Frontliner Cascadia. Now, I want to install the other one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and show you guys and then assemble the other one. That way, when we go outside, I install this on my, on my truck. And I'll install the other one on my car. So, this one's already done. Okay? That's how it looks like for that one. Obviously, I'm going to use the same tools. Okay, so this one here is for my car. Now, same thing, but my, the one in my car hasn't broken yet. It's still going. But I'm going to start having um, flexing issues. The one in my car is this charger right here. Okay, same one. And I don't trust it. If my, the one in my truck goes out, that's going out as well in my, in my car. I bet you. So this one here, same thing. Okay, same exact thing. A different, but it's a different mount. This one is for the Nissan 370Z. Okay, it's for my Nissan 370. The mount on this one here is very, very neat as well. Same place, exact same place how I want to mount it. I'll also give you some alcohol pads too to clean the surface area as well. I forgot to mention that. This one here shows you the installation in the car. Obviously, exactly where I want to mount it at. That's going to really go right there. It's going to hook on the side of it, just like that showroom diagram. It's going to complete the holding part right there. And it's going to mount right there. And it's going to come in my shifter right there for the 370Z. See that? Easy. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, same thing with this one here. The mount is one whole piece, as you can see. Okay. Pro Clips USA, same thing as this one here on top. Pro Clips USA. This one here is a little bit different from a car. It has a uh, double side tape here and right here as well to hold it in place for vibrations. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing. I bought the exact same thing how I did it on the Subaru. It's gonna be the same, same setup, everything. So come with that, power plug and all that. Everything is the exact same thing. The only thing different is the freaking mount. That's it. Just the mount. Same unit, same charging that I trust and love. Awesome. Okay, not hard at all.
And I think that's my fiance calling me. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so obviously this is done. Okay, this is from my car. This is from my truck. Wire, wire. I don't need these. I'll just put them aside. And let's go ahead and get them done and installed. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're back in my truck. Now, as I was saying, I use that every day. I make a nice mount for it. It's hooked, hooked to this uh, uh, piece that I have it uh, sticked on to the dash on top. And then this right here on the, on the very bottom, suction it to that. That way it doesn't move around. But as you can see, I put my phone up here every time when I'm driving. And the close, open, close, open, close. And it just become a more pain of ass. So now I'm gonna install the new one. So I got the mount here, all set ready to go. Now this goes to the back and this goes in the front, so it's gonna sit right about here. Okay. That's what it's gonna sit at. Okay. So let me go ahead and wipe this up real quick. See what a touching point's at. So I'm seeing it's right there. And the other one is right about there. Okay. Now that's drying up. I'm gonna peel these two right here off. We got the dogs outside, so you can hear a lot of bells. They're running around. They're supposed to be pooping and peeing, and they're running around. Okay, that's off. Come on. Okay, that's off. And let's mount it. Takes a little patience. But once you got it, you got it. Well, that's a little hole right here. Here and here. Where's that freaking hole? There it is. Okay. And bam. There we go. All done. All set. See? So now I can adjust my phone this way. Throw it on. Squeeze it. And that's it. And I can follow my GPS where I need to go. No more of that crap. Now I got this mount. So let's like again, see how it's stable? See that? Now if I want to release it, I show you that same back button. Hit it twice or once or twice pull it off that's it see that goes on squeeze it that's it take off that's it okay so now I gotta run this bad boy so this is the USB-C I believe took this up where's that power port at oh it's over here Okay, like that. Hug up to this unit right here. OK, 
okay now will the wire bother me maybe maybe not but I can work with it no problem I can definitely definitely work with it just do the best you can to suit the suit your needs to hide the wires or run how how you want to run the wires pretty much don't have it like this I think that's fine. Yeah, like that's fine. Okay, just for right now. Tuck it right there on the side. Okay. And there we have it. We're done. That's it, gentlemen. We are done. Now, if you want to do a quick test on this sucker, that's pretty easy. Let me turn the switch on real quick. Okay, so when I got power now, my dash cam is on, my iPad's on. See what I'm talking about? See? So the arm, close, open. Okay, the arm is working fine. It's just a charging, it won't charge. But every time I throw it on there, see? It says charge, but it's not charging. I'm getting tired of it. So, this is on. Throw it on, squeeze it, charge. Here we go. Just like that. Okay. See? Just like that. Hit the button. Pull off. Throw it on. Squeeze it. It's charging. See? Easy. So, now I'm going to go ahead, show you real close, real quick. Okay. And it's mounting right behind here. If you guys can see it. Okay. Power runs all the way down. So all this right here. Okay. And then my iPad for my ear log. I want now since after I'm done making the video for you guys, I want to take this out and get rid of it all right now my car let's get to it all right guys now we're on my 370z and this is what i'm talking about okay it hasn't gone out yet but it will go out if my truck if my if i use the same cell phone accessories to charge my phone on my truck and it's going out four times yeah this is eventually going to go out so right now i have it screwed down to this right here i bought this to see as it it bounces okay this is what i'm talking about so when this thing bounces this thing is starting to tear right here see it see it's just starting to tear and i don't like that so it's time to get rid of it so let's go ahead and install this mount okay all right guys we're back and i got the mount here we're gonna pull a double sided tape off of this real quick so it can stick on the hold you know these tapes are pretty thin in a way but this tape here they use the same thing when we had when we put this mount on our subaru and it's going fine it's it's stiff and very very sturdy very very sturdy there it goes. Come on now. I don't got all day. Okay, cool. Now, it's gonna slide right here. are done come check it out 
Okay, so hooks up to this side here, goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, this side here, all the way to the bottom. Same place, exactly where I want it, but it come with this mount. Okay. Now, since you guys see the mount for the system, I highly recommend you get these mounts for your vehicle if they have them all we do is just go online i'll add the links at the bottom of the video to the website and you play with it and you see if it comes out your car if it comes out your car they'll give you one or four or five options of where you want to mount your car either you want to mount it on a pillar right here or have it mounted like this okay or have it mounted on the dash they have many many different ways of mounting they just gotta make it for you okay obviously my mouse for my 370z is right here which i love where I, where, where I really want it and then you guys saw my truck the one with my truck is doable the one with my truck they made two options one one exactly where is it at or two it'll be on the driver's side on the pillar and i don't like that okay i want to run the wire for that mount in a bit but i want to show you this real quick now the Subaru that we have, same brand, same mount and everything, except for the the the, the, the mount that it mounts onto. It's for our oh dog it she locked the car. Let me grab the key and I'll show you. All right guys, we're back. Here's a Subaru that we picked up this past summer. Okay. Oh, what is this here? Okay. So, like I said, same mount. This is a different one. The one other one I have is an upgrade version. This is the little bit older version when we bought it this year, this summer. But same thing, okay? Same thing, see? Pro Clips USA, see that? And it hooks up to here, and it hooks up to here, okay? Same thing. This is why, why my fiance loves this mount goes up down up sideways like this down we'll be using this for seven months we've been beating the hell out of it and just charging it charging and charging it and it runs down to the power plug right here see it same mount same everything uses it for seven months and like i was saying you put the phone here you squeeze it to tighten up that's it you want to release it hit the button back here like i showed you on the other unit right here see no mechanical arm everything is manual all the unit do is charge so that's the most benefit thing see that that's the reason why i choose this brand that's the reason why this brand is reliable reliable and efficient saves money where don't have to worry about the product been breaking and now they go buy a new one every single time i'm just tired of it and it, and i'm wasting more money the one on my truck i replaced that damn thing four times okay those things are not cheap. They're like 75, 80 bucks a piece, okay? Well, I'd actually, no, I take it back. $49, like $50 a piece. And I did it four times, that's $200. That mount right there, the setup here was like, uh, I think it was like 100 bucks, 90 bucks. I think, I'm guessing, I forgot. I forgot how much to pay for it. These mounts here I got, they came out to both of them to like 200 and something a piece, okay? I think. Or 150 a piece, but the mount ain't going nowhere. You see how sturdy it is? Ain't going nowhere. Um, but the price, I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. But like I said, I'll add the links to the bottom of the video for the website. You go there, check it out, and see how much it is for your car, for your vehicle. And if you want the universal uh, IQ mount, the way it charges your phone fast on your car without having issues and just worry about charging. Man, the, the mounts are great, love them. We have this mount for seven and a half months, working great and running strong. The mounts on my truck, I have them for like a month, wear it out, replace them. Another month, a month and a half, replace them. And then the one in my car is still working, but the mount's not the good, it's flimsy. You know, I gotta know what's the mount. That, it's so hard to find a mount for my car. But now I got that mount, I don't have to worry about it no more, okay? So again, I wanna say thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs like, subscribe, sub my channel, share, comment. If you have any questions, ask away. And um, 
um, there'll be more products coming up, okay? Don't forget, I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. So if I get 1,000 subscri sub subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'll start doing a giveaway. It's coming up pretty soon. The faster I get there, the sooner I'll do the giveaway. Right now, it looks like I'm in the almost 900, almost. So give and take, just waiting patiently on that and see how it goes, all right? Until then, that's all right now. Thank you for watching and support my channel and uh, continue making more videos for you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't make these videos to this day. I pretty much maybe quit, you know, but we'll see, you know. But obviously, I'm still doing it, going strong, keep doing these videos for you guys to attain you guys educational purposes and also good products as well. If you guys ever looking for or ever need these kind of products as well as I'm doing these videos and enjoy them, okay? That's all right now. Thank you for watching. And I'm gonna go ahead and start running the power wire for this car, put it away, take the other, uh, go, I'm gonna go back in my truck, take that foam out now and throw it away. And uh, run, gonna do some more stuff that I need to take care of around the house and uh, stuff that I need to take care of. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sub sub subscribing to my channel, supporting my channel and watching my videos and commenting and thumbs likes and thumbs downs and whatever and whatnot. And um, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, subbing my channel again. Um, that's all right now. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.